Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of Serona Connect. This video will show you how to create your lab profile and generate additional order information. Log into the SeronaConnect.com website with your username and password. For our example, we have already created a profile and entered our user data and just need to click on Login. First, your start screen opens where you can access various areas. You will find your lab profile as well as additional order information under My Account. Here you will find several submenus which you can edit when you log in for the first time and adapt at any time thereafter. For example, you can enter information about your laboratory, enter your billing and shipping address, disable your account, or change your password. In this tutorial, we will be focusing on two of the submenus. First, we will look at the lab profile. Then we will take a closer look at the additional order information. In the lab profile submenu, you can start implementing the first default settings that are visible to the dentist in the Serona Connect software. These include the selection of materials processed in your laboratory, the various restoration types, plus different shade guides. Enable the Select All checkbox if you process all the listed materials. The option Additional Notes is always active and means that if no material is selected during the order process in the Serona Connect software, further information must be specified by the dentist. Let's switch to the Restoration Types and select All. Clicking again deselects all the restoration types. Since no selection has been made, but at least one element must be selected, a message appears in red here. You can either select Individual Options or select All. The procedure is similar when it comes to selecting the Shade Guides. Once you have completed your lab profile, the Save field is highlighted in orange. Let's save our profile and a confirmation that your changes have been successfully saved appears automatically at the top of the screen. Let's now take a closer look at how you edit the additional order information. Here you can create custom fields that are displayed in the Serona Connect software when a dentist enters the details for his or her order directly before submitting the case. This additional order information is displayed next to the delivery date and time fields. Later on, we'll show you how to custom configure additional order information. But first, let's take a look at the information saved by default. In the schematic preview, there is a text box for entering instructions from the dentist, a calendar view to specify the return date, and the option to select a specific time for the delivery. Let's close the preview so that we can start designing the order form. Since the individual design of your order form supports communication with your customer by providing additional order information, we'd like to show you a few possible examples. To do this, let's click on New Order Description. First, we define the type of entry field. There are three options available, a yes-no field, a drop-down field, and a text field. Let's start with a yes-no field. We then add a corresponding heading under Description. Let's use Send via Express for our example. By enabling the Mandatory Field checkbox, you define the Express Shipping field as a mandatory field. This means that the dentist must complete this field in order to place the order. Each new input field that you create must be saved before you can proceed with a new order description. Let's click again on New Order Description and take a look at the next option, Drop-down Field. As before, we first need to specify a heading, for example, Material. Under Values, you enter the different selection options that will be available for the dentist in the drop-down menu in the Serona Connect software. 
To illustrate this, let's define a total of three selection options. Material 1, 2, and 3. We can generate additional fields by clicking on Further Value. In this case, let's enable the Is Activated checkbox and then save our entry. To specify the third Order Description option, let's click again on New Order Description. As Type, we select Text Field. And as an example, choose Service for the heading. We can also change the number of rows that are available to the dentist when entering the required information. We enable Mandatory Field and the Is Activated checkbox and save the third position. Next, let's take a look at the preview of our order information. All changes are now shown and we can then check the view in the Sorona Connect software. As you can see, the preset order form fields, as well as the newly created additional order information, which we earlier set to Is Activated, appear. The order information with a yes-no field and the query regarding express shipping are still not visible to the dentist. We therefore need to go back to our lab profile and modify our settings so that it is also visible for the dentist in the Sorona Connect software. Here you can choose to remove the additional order information by clicking on the waste bin icon or edit it by selecting the pencil icon. First, let's make another change and specify a preset. Click on Clear Default to remove it automatically. Since we would like to show you this modification later on in the Sorona Connect software, we will select a preset again. Also, since we would like to make this order information visible to the dentist, we will enable the Is Activated checkbox. Finally, we save our changes. Before we switch to the view in the Sorona Connect software, let's take another look at our preview. As previously specified, Send Via Express is now preset to Yes in the additional order information. This is now also visible to the dentist. However, the dentist also has the option to select No. All fields marked in red are mandatory fields. As we enabled the mandatory field checkbox for some of our additional order information, these options now also appear in red. If any mandatory fields are not completed, the order cannot be sent and the red marking remains. To demonstrate how to edit the customized order information in the Sorona Connect software, we will complete all the fields, whether mandatory or not. Once all the mandatory fields have been completed, the dentist has the option to place the order in the cart. The Sorona Connect software directs the customer to the cart. Here, the dentist receives an overview of the orders that have previously been placed. In addition, we can see which orders have been accepted and which have been rejected. A complete overview is provided, regardless of whether the orders have been placed, accepted, or rejected. The status indicates that the case has only been uploaded so far. To finally place the order, the cart must be submitted. For security reasons, 
the customer is once again requested to enter the password. Click on Commission to confirm the shipment of the data. The case now appears with the status Commissioned. To return to the Serona Connect software homepage, the dentist clicks on the username, in our case, Log Out S. Koenig. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Serona Connect.